what neuroscientist Marcel Just and his colleague Tom Mitchell at Carnegie Mellon University have done is combine fMRI's ability to look at the brain in action with computer science's new power to sort through massive amounts of data. The goal? To see if they could identify exactly what happens in the brain when people think specific thoughts. We asked if his team was up for a challenge. Would they take our associate producer, Megan Frank, whose brain had never been scanned before, and see if the computer could identify her thoughts? Inside the scanner, Megan was shown a series of 10 items and asked to think for a few seconds about each one. If it all comes out right, when she's thinking hammer, the computer will know she's thinking hammer. Right. Okay, we're all done. So, Megan. Yes. How was it? It wasn't bad. Good. Within minutes, the computer, unaware of what pictures Megan had been shown, and working only from her brain activity patterns as read out by the scanner, was ready to tell us, in its own voice, what it believed was the first object Megan had been thinking about. I think the word is knife. <gasps> All right, Good one. Right. <laughs> then the second. I think the word is hammer. It's perfect, right? So far. And it continued to be, word after word. Apartment. <laughs> ten out of ten. Ten out of ten. <laughs> well done, well done. <laughs> Good thinking. And of course, this is just the beginning. Exactly. Who knows what you're going to be able to read? Yes.